I've been using a CDS cell or a light dependent resistor in some of my dark sensing light circuits. This is the type of cell that we used to use in older cameras. Uh, in newer cameras you don't really need that. Um, but I found out if you hook this CDS cell to a multimeter, you can hook it up to an analog one too. The resistance on the meter changes. If you point it to a lighter place, a uh, place with more light, the resistance go down. Point it to a darker place, resistance go up. So you can use this as a crude light meter. And I found out when it when it uh, goes from uh, 9k to 15k I would have to open up the exposure by at least half a stop to get a good picture um, so this is what you can use it for if you don't have a light meter or if you need a lot of control in taking your pictures maybe of documents or something like that and you have a camera that you can adjust the exposure manually and uh, this one here is underexposed and this one here is properly exposed and uh, again this is a properly exposed one and I found out uh, by changing the exposure uh, increasing it half a stop uh, say if the resistance is 9k more then I would have to open up a full stop to uh, get a good exposure now this kind of uh, uh, light exposure reading would be different obviously for different cameras because they have different lenses so you would have to um, set this up for your own particular camera if you if you grow plants and you put your plant or house plant um, under certain lights and they grow very well you can check the resistance you can, with with the CDS cell and you would have a reference point at this kind of light level you would get 6k resistance so if you want to grow something uh, in another location you might want to match the light level of uh, about 6k to to help your plants grow so this uh, humble CDS cell that cost me maybe a less than 50 cents can be used in I don't know what whichever way you need to use it but whichever uh, project that you need to have some kind of light measurement and when you use that in conjunction with your multimeter or your analog meter you can have some kind of a uh, crude exposure meter okay uh, I thought that was kind of interesting for me anyway because I remember having an old camera with this type of CDS cells 